Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why? Keep walking. Or you will not knock down our wall. Keep walking. <laughs> but she isn't going to fall. And there's your Veggie Tales, there's your veggie tales reference for the week. Hi, I'm Turner. And I'm Bailey. And this is Indian Hen Outdoors. Today we're going to do a video we've been wanting to do for a long time. We're going to be comparing rim fire cartridges and uh, maybe figure out which one is the best or quite simply which one is the best for you. Um, we have four different guns here today. We have the traditional 22 long rifle. We have 22 Winchester Magnum or 22 Mag as it's commonly known as. Uh, 17 HMR. And then the uh, the unicorn of the bunch, we have Win uh, 17 Winchester Super Magnum. That's the, uh, the last one we'll be testing. The almighty Winchester Super Magnum. There you go. So for starters, what do we have, Bailey? This is a Savage Mark II. Um, this is the bolt action Savage that has become fairly common in all of your sporting goods stores, Walmarts. Uh, me and Turner both have one of these. Um, they're great little guns, especially for the money. And, very, uh, very accurate for the money. Very accurate for the money. And this is sort of the base model. You can get them with bull barrels. You can get them with thumb hole stocks. You can get one. This was uh, a synthetic stock that Turner gave a nice sort of Vietnam era paint job to <laughs> that we really like um, and added a clamp on uh, bipod. So a good little just go to gun that you can probably pick up at your local sporting goods store or Walmart. Yep. And 22 long rifle comes in a variety of different flavors now. It, it, you have the 22 short, um, you have 22 long, and then you have 22 long rifle. That's mostly what everybody uses now. And today we have just what you call mini mags. These are from CCI. And this is a copper plated round nose bullet. And it's uh, just over 1200 feet per second. It's one of the hotter 22 long rifles you can get. And muzzle energy, you're probably looking at the, what, 140-ish range? Maybe, yeah, maybe. Maybe around the 140. And the great thing about 22 is, uh, again, like this rifle, you can find it everywhere. Uh, you can get varying speeds. Like you said, this is a little bit spicier uh, 22. Yeah. The uh, standard 22 is around 1,100 feet per second. Um, again, I think everybody that is hunting is probably going to use mini mags. They've got to be fairly <laughs> common and popular. Mini mags are, I think, the, the Winchester Wildcat. Yep. Um, it's a little slower, but I think it's a hollow point. Right. Um, but that being said, the, the good thing about the 22, it's the weakest of the rimfire cartridges, but um, it's the most common and it's also the cheapest ammunition. I mean, you can find ammunition, uh, practice ammunition, as cheap as eight cents a round. Uh, I mean, this is probably the, the best starter rifle, um, starting hunting rifle for squirrels or, or small game. Probably the best best thing you can get, to be honest. Even some varmints can be taken with a 22 long rifle, especially when you consider shot placement. Again, if you're a good shot, it's all about shot placement. But my grandfather tells a story. In the early 1900s, um, before the feral hog epidemic, um, pigs were kept free range. They weren't pinned up. They just were turned loose in the forest and kind of meandered about until they were ready to be slaughtered. And my great-grandfather killed all of his hogs with a 22 short. Now, now obviously this was at really close range with a well-placed shot and the pig did not just fall over and die immediately. But that, I, I tell you that, is that 22 is no slouch. Uh, again, you, you're not gonna be hunting large game with it, but at close range with a well-placed shot, you can take something as big as a coyote with it. You hold the guns because I'm because you're left-handed. Oh, you're good. Yeah, okay, sorry, I didn't, couldn't, hit, couldn't remember I hit the button. Yeah. Because because I'm gonna be pointing them at you. That would be good. Yeah, remember our uh, gun safety rules. Next up, this is my gun. This is um, a Marlin 925M in 22 Magnum, 22 uh, Winchester Super Magnum. Winchester developed the round in 1959. I don't think it actually made its way into production until like 60 or 61. But 22 Magnum is, is probably my favorite of the bunch. I'll go ahead and give you a spoiler alert. Um, you're looking at a 30 grain bullet. It pushes at around 2,300 feet per second. And that gives you some muzzle energy around 322 foot pounds, which is pretty good for this group. The only thing that beats it is the Winchester Super Magnum. Um, and the great thing about the 22 mag, you're looking at the price is comparable to 17 HMR. Um, it, it's around that 18 to 20 cents per round range. You can get some 22 mag as heavy as 50 grain. This is going to be the largest, heaviest bullet you can that you'll find in these rimfire guns. Uh, rimfire three to nine by 40. 
Yep. And some, uh, especially for you know something that you're going to hunt varmints with or small game, this might be a feature you could consider, which is a see-through yep. scope mount that you can you still utilize your iron sights with. So something to consider when you're setting up your rimfire. Yeah, uh, I mean, a lot of your rimfire shots are going to be close range. I always loved having the option to, to go to my iron sights if, you know, I was shooting inside of 50 yards. So. Up next, representing the group, is 17 HMR. Now, this round came out in 2002, and it was manufactured by, or uh, designed by Hornady. In this, the parent case is the 22 Magnum case. It's neck down to a 17 caliber bullet. You're looking at a 17 grain bullet at 2650 mm -hmm. feet per second and a 20 grain bullet around that 2350, 2350 mark. Yeah. Um, so a little bit faster than the 22 mag. You do sacrifice about 50, 60 pounds. Nears makes no difference. A muzzle energy. Still a great little rimfire cartridge. And as far as price, you're going to be in that same range as the 22 mag. You're going to be in that 18 to 20, 21 cent range per round. That's exactly right. And what, what do we have here? And so what we've got is a Savage Model 93R17. And this is the, uh, like we were talking about the Savage Mark II, this is a very similar action. It's almost the same if I remember correctly. Um, this one's obviously got a nice laminate stock. It's got a little bit heavier barrel on it. Um, and this is our good fishing buddy Sam's uh, rifle. And it is topped off with a Whiskey uh, 3 by Sig Sauer, 3 to 9 by 40, which is a great scope. By and, far uh, the nicest gun we have. Definitely today. <laughs> a very nice gun. It's got the Accu trigger on it, um, and uh, I know that you were telling me that this has taken some varmints and some wild game. Yeah, Sam has killed us. Uh, has taken countless wild hogs and and other small game with this gun. It is a tack driver. Yep. Now this is interesting because <laughs> my grandfather purchased this probably ten or twelve years ago. And I had never fired it, and I fired it for the first time a few days ago and have been playing around with it. This is the Savage B Mag. It has the heavier uh, bull barrel or target barrel, whatever you want to call it. And it is chambered in 17 Winchester Super Magnum. Now, Winchester not to be outdone by Hornady, in 2012 came out with the uh, 17 WSM. Now, the parent case came from the 27 caliber nail gun blank case which is interesting, and it's neck down to fit the uh, the 17 uh, caliber uh, bullet. You're looking at a 20 grain bullet at around 3,000 feet per second. That's a spicy meatball. It is, and, and that puts that muzzle energy by far the most powerful of the rim fires at around 400 pounds of energy. If you go up to a 25 grain bullet, you'll, you'll be around that 2,600 mark again, and you'll sacrifice a little bit of energy around that 375 mark. Um, but that being said, it's by far the most powerful of the uh, the rimfire cartridges we have here. Um, it hasn't really took on like the HMR. It's not as popular. It's kind of the unicorn of this group. But I'm interested. I'm interested to see how it uh, how that extra energy translates to some actual targets. So, yeah. And you want to talk about pricing for the B Mag for for the 17 WSM? Well, not to spoil the video, but the one the one thing about the uh, the B mag and that's the problem is the price you can get all these other rim fires you know for cents on the dollar I went to ammo seek and if you're in the gun community you know exactly what I'm talking about everyone uses ammo seek and I typed in Winchester super magnum and it yielded three results three stores in the entire United States that have ammo for it and it was priced at around a dollar fifty to a dollar sixty per round. Yeah, and you may be able to find it cheaper when you can find it. We're not saying that it's just impossible to find. It's just not as common, especially when you think of rimfire. I'm thinking of something that I can shoot a bunch of. Yeah, and this doesn't fall into that bracket. Again, a great round. You'll we'll see when we test it and do some testing on it. Uh, a, a great a, round. A coyote's worst nightmare for sure. But, but it loses that the amount of extra energy you gain over the 22 mag or the 17 HMR, I don't know that it's going to be worth it for the extra money you're going to spend. You're talking about spending as much money as something like a, a 308 yeah. to We're buy talking to, for varmint hunting. Definitely more than, say, a 223, which is yes. a great varmint round. Yes. A center fire, but it's uh, still yeah. a brand. We're all topped off with a Barska scope. Uh, this is the Huntmaster 3 to 9 by 50. So a little bit more light coming through, and we've got the all-weather finish and a synthetic stock. 
Let's do some shooting. That was a lot more energetic than 22 long rifle. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, hey, by the way, 97% of our viewers are not subscribed. So go ahead and do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. It really helps. So as you can see, it's hard to argue with the extra oomph behind the 17 WSM. That being said, we have to take into consideration the price. Uh, so for me, um, my winner today is the overall winner is probably 17 HMR because it is a little bit cheaper than 22 mag. It's readily available now, probably a little more available than 22 mag. And I mean, it's just a great all around gun. It still has plenty of power. Uh, my personal favorite is still 22 Magnum. Uh, it's no slouch. It, it probably loses out to 17 because it's a little less common now and a mm -hmm. little more expensive. But what do you think? I would agree. I would say if you're looking for anything above a 22 long rifle, I'd probably lean towards the 17 HMR as well. Um, much like Turner, I like 22 mag. I like the 17 uh, WSM. Yeah. The price and the uh, you know just scarcity of it, yeah. eh, it, it kind of scares me. The yeah. 17 HMR has gotten to where you can get it in a lot of different platforms. Whether you want a lever action, um, uh, Savage came out for a little while with the A17 little mm -hmm. semi-auto. Yeah. Um, you know it's it's gotten to be where it's more readily available than the 22 mag. But again, 22 mag is great if you've got one. Just find the ammo. Um, it really depends on what you want to do with it. I, yeah. But I would agree. I would say that 17 HMR probably wins out um, unless you just want to stick with the good old 22 long rifle. Yep. Well, I'm Turner. And I'm Bailey. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time, God bless.